Welcome to my new thing, Darren Makes. This is where I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite recipes um, at home. And just recipes that are not too chefy, not too tricky or anything like that. Just some really great, delicious tasting recipes that I hope you'll try out yourself. Um, first recipe I'm going to be making is a cookie. Now it's not just any old cookie, it's my chocolate chip cookies and they are the best ever. Okay, generally speaking with cookies, um, if you use brown sugar, they do go chewy, and if you use caster sugar, they go crunchy. So I've got both of the sugars here because I want a bit of crunch and a bit of chewiness at the same time. So first thing, we're going to add our butter to the mixing machine. Next sugar, brown sugar. Caster sugar. Now, it looks like a lot of ingredients because I'm making a lot of cookies. Salt and bicarb of soda into the bowl. Now, you could put vanilla here, but I actually forgot to bring the vanilla, so um, we're going to do it without, but it's great with vanilla. Just turn on the machine and give it a mix. Right, nice and smooth, pale and smooth it is now, so looking really good. Check that out, no lumps. Um, so we're ready for the eggs next. I've just cracked two eggs. And we'll put them in one at a time. And wait until it's fully incorporated before you add the other one. And I might give this bowl a little scrape in a minute just to make sure all the bits are mixed up well. Second egg. Right, eggs incorporated, mixed to add the flour. And I'm literally just going to chuck it all in. There you go. And I'll add cocoa nibs at the same time. He's going to give it a really nice crunch. Just bring it together. Don't turn the machine on too high, you make a mess. And just before it's come together, I'm going to add the chocolate. Okay, got some dark chocolate. It's got buttons, could be chopped. I'm just gonna, not gonna put all of them in. I'm just gonna leave a few for the end. I'll show you why in a minute. And the same with milk chocolate. Turn that on, and then that's our dough done. Cookie dough is ready, really excited. I haven't licked the bowl. Um, I did leave a little bit left. Um, this is gonna make a whole heap of cookies, which you can bake as and when you want. We're gonna scale them off though at 85 grams each. The reason we're gonna do that is to make sure they all cook nice and evenly in the oven and you know exactly how long they're gonna take, which is about 19, 20 minutes. So 85 grams of cookie. Just onto a set of scales. If you haven't got any scales, then just try and get them all around about the same size, but it'd be really good if you can have these precise and then you know your cookie's gonna be perfect every single time. Just roll them into a ball, get them onto this tray, or a piece of paper and then tray in the fridge. We're gonna chill them down, probably about half an hour, but you can leave them in the fridge for, I don't know, two weeks, or you could even freeze them uncooked. 
and then that way you can bring out as many as you like. If you want to cook one cookie, cook one cookie. If you want to bake four, you can bake four. Let's bake some cookies. Uh, oven preheated. I've got about half a dozen cookies here because I'm really hungry and I know Kath will knock over a couple. Um, straight into the oven. Cookies in, depending on your oven, they're going to take anywhere between 16 minutes and 20 minutes. So just keep an eye on them. Um, while they're baking, just want to give a shout out to a couple of uh, people who are always posting online some of my creations they cook out of my cookbooks. First one is Zachary. He's a, he's a young um, baker from Victoria and he makes all my stuff all the time. And you can see a picture of his cookie creation right here. And the next one is Amy Stewart. She's a professional baker. She's enormously talented from Queensland. And she also bakes stuff out of my cookbooks all the time. And one of her favorite recipes is the chocolate chip cookie recipe that I'm giving you now. And you can see her creation right here. It's really good. Thanks guys, that's awesome. All we gotta do is just wait for these cookies to cook. Oh my god, it smelled amazing. So good. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick now. Just need a saucepan. This, I'm just going to press these down gently on top. Not squash them, just press them. What's going to happen is they're going to end up being crunchy on the outside and chewy in the middle. It's just going to set the chewiness in the middle. And you remember that chocolate we saved earlier when we were making the recipe? We've got some dark chocolate and milk chocolate reserved. Little buttons. While the cookies are hot, I'm just going to put chocolate on top and just let the heat of those cookies melt that chocolate. Right, done. You can never have too many chocolate buttons on top of your cookies, I don't think. Alright, now, unfortunately we have to let them cool down before we eat them. But these are going to be absolutely sensational. Cookies are done, got my cup of tea, so I'm gonna dig in. But just before I do, hope you love this recipe. Let me know how you go. If you, uh, if you make them, post them, tag me in, and um, I'll make a comment, we'll all have a look. Um, but yeah, enjoy your baking. I'm gonna dig in. They are so good. Too young crunchy. Enjoy.